um, we have, uh, let's take Japan for example. We have delivered uh, quite a bit of PEP in Japan. We're also rep represented it, rep represented it in uh, Japan. Um, what you see in Japan is that they, the, the, the production processes of producing goods is so efficient and so streamlined through Kaizen and Lean and so forth. Uh, but the working habits and the working routines of the Japanese need to be improved. And it's interesting that there's such a big difference between the factory and the managers. There's an enormous difference. We also have, uh, f for example, in Holland, we just finished a project with uh, Shimano, and that's the, the, the bicycle racing company. And you also see that the interesting thing with the European and the Japanese culture coming together, and then it's interesting to see that. What you see is that there's a certain work ethic in Japan, and that's long hours. Not necessarily that you have to be productive in the long hours, but in Europe, especially in a country like Holland, you don't have that. Holland, socially and in the business world, is a very flat, um, structured country, whereas Japan is, is more like this. So managers are here, and then it goes down. Holland is very much like so. And then you take these two cultures. That's interesting. People are people. And, of course, we have different cultures. But it's interesting how very the very basic issues that we are confronted with and having to deal with and problems and so forth, stress, it goes through all the barriers, all the cultural barriers. It's something that a Japanese person has or somebody in Singapore, somebody here in Dutch or Swedish. Most companies will concentrate on the hardware and the software applications and they will leave, they will neglect the person, the human being. And we say, wait a minute, you have to do it the other way around. The most important element in that change to the mobile working environment, to the virtual office, is the human being, is the, is the, the person. That's where you start. He and she has to work in a new way. So it's interesting because we started with this a long time ago. Sweden was one of the first that started working into, started working with Flex. You know, that was the first part of it. You know, if you go back 15 years, we had Flex projects in Sweden. Ericsson, digital equipment, high-tech companies wanted to be more efficient and Flex. So we became an expert in flexible working environments. And then later on, you had companies in the Benelux like Siemens. They wanted to do, they call it five, six years ago, hot desking. Hot desking was you would come in and you'd find a desk and they had figured out that they wanted 80% of their people in the um, uh, office and 20% should be out by clients visiting, selling things and so forth. Eh? So they actually worked this out. So it was a, quite a time savior and we put about 500 people uh, from Siemens in Brussels through the PEP program customized to fit with the hot desking. Now you have, we have the tools for, yeah, you can, you can work anywhere. And the interesting thing is that we ourselves are also implementing this so that we are working everywhere and anywhere.